So back in December of 2019, I released a module I wrote for Mach 4, which supports this Avid CNC's Auto Z and Corner Finding touch plate. So I've had a chance to use that software for a while and I've made some updates that I'm going to release. So I thought I'd make this video to uh, go through some of the changes that I've made. So I've made five changes to the module. The first is that I've added this status bar. So this will echo the G-code commands that are being submitted by the module and report the success or failure of each one of those G-code commands. I needed to add this to help me debug an issue I was having with the PMDX424 uh, and probing motions. And I have not resolved that problem yet, but I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with this uh, module. So. Hopefully this feature will be useful to uh, others. It certainly makes it more transparent what the module is doing, and if anybody else is having problems, it'll hopefully help them debug theirs. Um, second, uh, is I've under the hood, I've refactored the way G-code is submitted. Um, in the previous version, it was submitted by a... a API function which is execute and wait and so the g-code would uh, essentially lock up the GUI and so these DROs would be static and basically the entire GUI would essentially be fixed until the the probing process was complete and so I've changed that to use a coroutine so now as the probe moves these DROs will update and more or less the 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 module will work the way the rest of Mach 4 works. And so I think that was useful. And then uh, the other major thing I did was I added code to verify that the probe actually strikes. Um, I'll demo that a little bit later uh, in the case where, and just show you what it's like when, when the probe fails to strike. In the previous version, you could do that and essentially it would set the uh, work coordinates even though the probe never touched. And so that's not ideal. So I changed that. Um, and then another thing is I added this cancel button, which works essentially the same as this stop button over here. Um, and then another thing I added was basically a little bit of code that will populate this uh, unit of measure, rather inches versus millimeters. And so it's going to base it off how your machine is configured here. And so the machine setup units, it's going to look at this and then make the appropriate uh, selection for you. You can still override it, but at least the default will be more meaningful to most people. Um, <laughs> before it was just defaulting to inch, inches, and so that's kind of a snub to our, our uh, uh, metric neighbors. So uh, that's pretty much it. I think I'll demo maybe the happy path and show how the status bar works, and then also uh, what happens when the, let's say the probe doesn't touch. So let's run through. So you can see it echoing a F10 and a G31 probing motion. And then I'm just going to pretend I'm rotating the, the flutes. So here we move on to the X axis. And onto the Y. So you can see the DRO is being updated. And then you see in real time as the uh, work coordinates are, are changed to this new position. So that's pretty much, I think functionally it's the same, but I think it's a slightly better implementation. So the previous version of the software wasn't checking to make sure that the probe actually touched the touch plate. And so if you had a setup where it was too high, for example, the Z-axis would move the allotted two inches as it was configured and then stop. and the user would essentially be not know that the touch plate never touched. So I added code to verify that the touch plate is being contacted. And so here I have it set up so that the z-axis is too high and it will not touch. So let's see what happens now. Good. So we see here that for the probing command of G31Z-2, uh, we have a failure. And so it echoes the line number and the probe never touched. 
And then also here in the history, we see that a, a last error was uh, written as well, which echoes the same thing. And so it should be clear to the user that the probe simply did not strike. And the other thing that's missing is the pop-up window. So I'm trying to train the user with that pop-up window that that's the happy path. And so whenever that uh, zero is, access zero is complete window pops up, that should be the sign that everything went well. And if that doesn't show up, then that'll tell the user that they need to take a look at what went wrong. So that's it for this video. I think I'll make a separate video about the installation. It's pretty much identical to the previous uh, version of the module, so it should be pretty short. Um, and yeah, so hopefully I don't I have no idea how many people are actually using this, uh, but uh, check it out and uh, uh, let me know how it goes. All right, thanks for watching.